Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming a glam get ready with me because I have to go to a thing tonight for my grandfather. He's turning 95 or something. It's for his birthday. I don't know. My mom just said we're going to a thing. Dress up. So we're dressing up. Uh, so I'm going to start with the Glam Glow Water Burst Moisturizer. Uh, I have a bit of acne today on my chin. So we're going to just slather my face in moisturizer because that helps. I'm trying a new method of recording Get Ready With Me. Uh, I used to record it off my laptop, but I've never shown any of those videos because they all came out really bad. So instead of recording off my laptop, I am recording off of my vlogging camera and we'll see if that helps. Alright, so now that we've moisturized, while that sinks in, I need a drink. Alright, so that moisturizer is pretty well sunk in. So I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. Not a lot. And I'm going to focus this mainly in my T-zone. If you hear beeping in the background, uh, it's something outside. Yeah, somebody's backing a truck up right outside the window I'm filming in front of. So that's wonderfully fun. Wow, I'm really breaking out. Alright, that is on and I just pat over it with my beauty blender to help it just sink into my skin. Oh, we have a friend! Oh, bye friend. It was, it was Loki. Loki wanted to be our friend and then he said, No, I don't want to be your friend, Mom. This is just the e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. color correcting quad. I'm going to drop it. And I take yellow for under the eyes to cancel out blue. And then I take a little bit of pink too, just for further brightening. And then once that's done, I take a little bit of green and I just go pat it on my nose to get rid of redness on my nose. And then I pat it on this zip and a little on my chin. Once that's done, take my beauty blender. Alright, next I take my Kat Von D Locket Concealer. This is in the shade L1 Neutral, and like I said in previous videos, while I no longer support Kat Von D, I do still have quite a few of her products in my collection, which I don't want to throw out because I spent my money on them. And I just pat this concealer on in particularly problematic areas, like the under eyes and my wonderful friend, who I think I will name Wallace. Now, I don't wear makeup every day. In fact, if I'm just going to class or to work, I don't wear makeup at all, but I do enjoy makeup. And so, for family events, or I don't even want to say special occasions. I basically, I wear makeup when I feel like wearing makeup. And I've gotten to the point where I just don't feel like wearing makeup to to class or work anymore, so that is life. So now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in shade 110. So I try to get some out onto my hand, but she might be too far gone. Here we go. We don't need a whole lot, but a little more than this. And then once the pointy end, I'm done with it, I take what's left on the big end and I just pat and blend it all in like 
so. And there's gonna be no way to fully cover up Wallace. The best I can do is just make him look slightly better. And then once that is all blended in and we don't see any more streaks, all right, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in Translucent on a nice big fluffy brush. And just set the whole face. If it suddenly got dark, the sun went behind a cloud. And thus the lighting has changed. I know this seems like a lot of powder, but I am going to be out for quite a lot a while today. I don't think it's even one o'clock yet when I'm filming this, and the dinner doesn't even start till five, so I want to make sure I don't use my face before we even get there. All right, next product I'm going to go in with is the NYX HD Blush in Taupe. Again, I'm sorry, another Kat Von D product, but this is the Shade and Light Angle Brush. And I'm just going in on the on under my underside of my cheekbones. And that is all. Just I'm just going for a light look today. Um, it is a fancy dinner, but I don't need to go overboard. Uh, next I'm going to go in with the Space Case uh, Blush in Cosmic Gangster on this big brush. Alright, so once the blush is done, I'm going to go in with technically another blush. It's the Becca Highlighter in Lilac Geode, which I wouldn't normally go in with two blushes, except, oh, sorry. Um, I asked John to pick my highlighter today, and he picked this one, but it's a little too pink for me to use as a highlighter, so I'm using it as a secondary blush and just going into the very tops of my cheeks with it. Just nice and light, like so. And then I'm also going in with the Kat Von D Thunderstruck Eyeshadow, just to really brighten up. Now once that's done, it's time to move on to, to eyeshadow. Okay, eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Soft Glam palette today. Start out with a little bit more of the Smashbox Foundation Primer. Just a little tiny bit, like you can barely even see this on my finger. And I'm just going to go over my eyes again with it. And now I'm going to take this brush, it's not pink, like the, the actual bristles are pink. And I'm going to take the shade Tempra and just cover my whole eyelid. I was really happy when Soft Glam came with the shade Tempra because I used up Tempra in my Modern Renaissance palette. And since I knew I was going to get this one anyway, it saved me from having to buy a single. And then I'm going to go in with that same brush into the shade Cream Soda. Just tapping. And then I'm going to take this through my crease. Once that's laid into my crease, I'm going to build it up 
using a fresh brush with a little bit of the shade Burnt Orange. And the truck from earlier is going to be backing up again by the sounds of it. And I just pat that in and I'm just going to focus that on the outer edge on both eyes. And now I'm going to come in with my Hard Candy Glitter Primer. You don't need a whole lot of that. Just a tiny little dot. And I'm just going to put that just in the center of my lid. And I'm going to come in with this nice dense brush. And my eyelids are sticking together. And I'm going to go into the shade Bronze which I'll show you guys in a sec. Just lay that over where I place the sticky primer. On a moistened brush, um, we're taking, we're gonna wipe off our moistened brush on something. I've got baby wipes, just to clean it real quick. Then we're going to moisten our moistened brush again. Go into glistening, the shade right above fairy, and focus this on the inner corners. And that looks good. I need something to brush off the under eye. Where is that brush that I like to use? Here it is. And then we're gonna brush off our under eye to get rid of fallout. There wasn't a whole lot of fallout, but I'd rather no fallout. And this is looking really good, really light, really nice. Um, I am going to go in with a big fluffy brush just a little bit more into Sienna, just ever so lightly, like so. Eyeliner. I have two, I have a liquid, I have a pencil. I'm going to start with the pencil and do the waterline, upper waterline. Probably good enough. Take my uh, liquid eyeliner. I hate this liquid eyeliner. I can't find the one I like. So we're going with this one. It's fine. Two wings. And those actually came out pretty even today, which is good. Next, I'm going to go in with. Urban K Perversion Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. Nose is itchy. <laughs> Alright, mascara's did. I need to do brows. So we take the Great Lash in clear, run it through the brows, you take an eyeliner brush, we take the shade Cypress Umber, and we just start running it through. Alright, we just had to do a quick camera switch because my other camera died and I didn't have a spare battery. So we just went from my vlogging camera to my time lapse camera. And we're going to finish our eyebrows. Alright, so face is looking pretty good. We're just missing lips, which I'm going to go get from my lip drawer. 
For lips today, I think we're going to do the Sephora Lip Stories in number 28, Popsicle Lips. It's a nice red, cream based. Alright, there we go. We've got a nice, soft, glam. I use a soft glam palette and this is a soft glam look. <laughs> We've got a nice soft glam makeup look. Perfect for the dinner tonight. There it is with glasses. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will take the time to like it and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye!